Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, good morning. I was just checking my Sora app for a St. Patrick's Day book. Did you know today is St. Patrick's Day? Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I found this one. It's how to catch a leprechaun. Ooh, that sounds good. I think I might put that one on hold, even though it'll be later when I pick it up. Oh, that's good. All right, do you have the Sora app? It's easy, and it's also on your tablets or computers if you're in Fresno Unified. You can look up all kinds of books to read. I hope you'll take advantage of that. But if you don't have that, and you're not from Fresno Unified, you can find excellent books to read about St. Patrick's Day, or anything, at your, Fres at your county public library. Okay, are you ready, boys and girls, to see who is in the number three spot on our countdown to Sora. Okay, I put a shamrock here because it's St. Patrick's Day. That's why I'm wearing this crazy hat. All right, let's see who number three is. Heaton Bulldogs. Way to go, Heaton Elementary. You are in our top five countdown in the spot of number three. We are proud of you. Great job. Do you feel lucky enough to get an activity book? Today's lucky day, and if you send me a letter or an email right here in our PBS classroom, I will send you one of our fun activity books. Send me your name and address, and I will put one in the mail to you. I look forward to hearing you. Are you going to try to catch a leprechaun today? I'd love to hear all about it. You could draw a picture. Show me what you're planning to do. I'd love to see it, and I'll send you an activity book. All right, great job. All right, today we are gonna play a blending game. So you're gonna train your ears for sound the way that we always do. And this time we're gonna be taking the sounds that I give you and I want you to put them together and tell me what my word is. Are you ready? Okay. We can do it several ways. We can use our fingers and count the phonemes, or we can tap them out and blend them down our arm. You decide what works for you. Are you ready? All right. G, er, o. Put those together, and what's my word? Girl. Great job. All right, try this one. I'm going to use my arm this time so you can see how that looks. Ready? W, er, d. Word. Did you get it? Terrific. All right, one last one. T, er, n. Turn. Great job. You are doing an excellent job of blending and making words. That's exactly what we do when we read. So good for you. All right, this week, we've had kind of a tricky sound spelling card that we've been working on. We are working on the shirt card. And the shirt card has four ways that we can spell the er sound. All right, so when you hear shirt, I want you to hear the er in the middle, right? And we can spell that sound with an er. Say it with me. Er says er. Ir says er. Ur says er. And O-R says er. Okay, I have two words that we're going to practice blending together. And then I have some building that you're going to help me with. Are you ready? Okay. Er, t, hurt. Hurt. Good job. Let's try the next one. W, er, th, worth. There's that O-R that says er. Do you remember the challenge I gave you yesterday? Right. I want you to f see if you can find a word that has the er sound spelled O-R that does not start with a W. 
I think it's going to be tricky because most of the words that say that sound spelled O-R start with a W. All right, are you ready to do some building? I have our first phoneme here. What is that? Right, F. And what sound does F make? F, er, f. And now I want to make the word fur. F, er. Okay, we have a, a decision to make, right? I'm going to show you that fur is spelled with the U-R. He had a, that tiger had a fur coat. Good, fur. Now, there's also a plant called a fern, a fern. Do you know how to spell fern? I want you to see this because this is the tricky part about all of these sound spellings is you have to start learning what they look like because if you write them in a different way, they still might, they'll still read the same, but they are not spelled correctly. And we want to learn how to read them and write them. So let's do fern. Fern, let's see, fern. Let's put it up there. Fern. Oh, you know what? That does not look right. Because I know the word fern, I know it doesn't look right. I need to spell fern, the plant, with the E-R. It needs to say fern. This still says fern. It does. It's just not spelled correctly. So do you see how tricky that can be? That's why we need to look and practice these E-R, I-R, U-R, and O-R spellings so that we get really good at identifying when it's not the right spelling pattern. OK, we're going to try one more. Are you ready? Let's build the word shirt. Now, don't peek. I know it's on my card, but let's try shirt, all right? So let's take a look at what it looks like if I build it like this. Because we know ER says er. So let's put an ER there. Does that look right? Shirt. It does read. We can read it. It does say shirt. But is that correctly? No, it isn't. So let's try, let's try the UR. What do you think? Does that look right? Hmm, no, that's not quite right either. How about IR? There we go. Shirt is spelled with the IR spelling pattern. Do you see why we need to practice those words? Because they can be very tricky. All right, we're going to practice reading now. And I have not underlined the, the spelling patterns for you in these next th four rows. So you're going to have to really use your good-looking eyes and remember what sound to make. So let's try it. B, earn, burn. I want you to train your eyes to start seeing that you are as one sound. That's going to help you. Sw, erv, swerve. Erd, third, p, er, s, purse, w, worry, worry. Oh, look, it's another O R with a W at the beginning. How about this one? D, do you remember this sound? R, t, dart. Good, that's from our star card we practiced last week. How about this one? Sk, ert, Skirt. Wh er ol. Whirl. Bl ert. Blurt. W erst. Worst. F erst. Thirst. And b erst. Burst. Great reading. Did you see there were two more words that we can add to our OR says er? Isn't that crazy? Let's take a look at our high frequency words for today. We have two more that we're going to work on. Let me get my cart straightened up here. All right, let's see. We have climb, climb, C-L-I-M-B, climb. Remember, we don't hear the B, and we know that it has a beginning sound of C-L, climb, and that's that long I sound. Tricky, isn't it? All right, let's take a look at through. Say it with me. Through. 
T-H-R-O-U-G-H, through. All right, here are our sentences. The boy will, hmm, up the tree. Okay, are you thinking about it? We walk, hmm, the door of school. We walk, good, through the door of school. Hey, isn't it exciting? We are gonna be walking through the door of school. And we, the boy will climb up a tree. Great job. All right, it's time for us to look at our structural analysis. That means how does language work? Or how do words work? And this week we're talking about the inflectional ending ER, which matches what our spell, sound spelling card pattern is, right? So remember I told you when you add ER to an action word, it becomes a naming word or a noun, and it tells you someone or something does the action. So here's read. So if I add ER, it becomes reader. That's a person that reads. If I have farm and I add ER, it becomes farmer. That's someone who farms. Learn. Er, learner, that's you, right? Uh, it's me too. And work plus er means worker. Those are some, somebody who works. So let's try it with some sentences. Are you ready? I speak, I am a speaker or speak. Yes, good job. We definitely become, so speak is the action word. A speaker is someone who does it. I think I am a thinker or think, right? That's the action. We need the ER at the end so it becomes a person who thinks. Great job. You did that beautifully. Well done. Boys and girls, I cannot believe all of the important skills that you are reading and writing and practicing. I hope that you are learning all about the er sound. Do you remember how to spell it? Let's see. E-R, good. What else? I-R, good. U-R and O-R. All four of those spellings say the sound er. And I want you looking for those when you're reading this week. And I want you practicing looking for these high frequency words because remember, those are the words that we see all the time in stories, and we want to be able to read them and write them because they're high frequency. That means they show up a lot. And if you know those words, you won't have to sound them out. You'll have it just as fast as you know your name. I've had a great time with you today. I hope the leprechauns, I hope you find some gold. You ready to sing with me? Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye everyone. Come back tomorrow so we can read a story together. Bye-bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.